Hi everyone, welcome back. I am Miss Benita. I live and teach in Seattle, Washington, and I am helping Miss Fun, my Denver friend, make these videos for you to continue learning at home. We are continuing with lesson four, exploring how landforms erode quickly. Let's get started. This video has two activities, and we are going to return to a reading about how landforms erode quickly. We brainstormed and diagrammed our ideas about how a landform can erode quickly. We can also use this book to investigate how landforms erode quickly. You've read this one before. Landmark of, or hand, handbook of land and water. I've been calling it landmark. All right, this page is page six of your packet. And again, if you do not have the packet, any piece of paper that you have at home and a pencil will suffice. We'll gather ideas about how landforms can erode quickly and record them in the table. Not every landform in the book will have evidence about this, so we need to read carefully for what we are seeking. Let's look at the directions. Number one, read about at least two landforms in the handbook of land and water. Number two, list each landform on the left side of the table. And number three, on the right side of the table, explain how the landforms can erode quickly. You can use the table of contents or page 10 to find different landforms to read about. You can also visit this website. It's a YouTube website of Ms. Fung reading the book. I'll record information about caves in the first row. Follow along in your books as I show what to do. Page 15 of the book. These pages are about caves, but do not contain information about how caves erode quickly. It says caves are landforms, but they are not on Earth's surface. Caves are found underground. Caves are so cool. Caves are underground openings with walls of rock. Some caves have big spaces. Others are just narrow tunnels. Rocks and caves have often have surprising shapes. Says nothing about eroding quickly. Cool information, but let's move on. Page 17. This page explains how caves change slowly. It will not help us gather ideas about how caves erode quickly. Let's look at page 18. Look at this heading, How Caves Change Fast. This heading tells us that this page should be helpful as we think about how landforms can erode quickly. I'll read the page out loud. The roof of a cave may fall suddenly. This is called a cave in. Cave-ins happen when rock is weak and cracked. The cracks make the cave less stable. Cave-ins can make new cave openings. They can also block cave tunnels. A cave-in changes a cave in seconds. The roof of this cave fell in. You can see the new opening. The pieces of fallen rock are below. That heading was very helpful. Cave-ins happen when the rock is weak or cracked. I am visualizing rock that can break easily. This helps me understand why the cave suddenly fell apart. Using what I visualized and the information about cave-ins on page 18 helps me complete the table. When the rock of a cave is weak or cracked, it is less stable. Less stable rock can fall down. Read about landforms and complete the table. Visualize what you read before recording your ideas. Go ahead and pause the video so that you can work on this. 
All right, let's review. Some of you chose page 14. How beaches change fast. Sometimes erosion happens quickly. Beaches are made of sand or other loose material, so they are not as stable as some other landforms. One storm can erode a beach fast because a lot of material can move at once. If storm waves and gusts of wind hit a beach with enough power, they can carry away huge amounts of sand in a single day. We'll add that here. All right, some of you looked at page 30 and chose mountains as your landform that can change quickly. Usually mountains erode very slowly. Every once in a while though, erosion happens fast. For example, if part of a mountain is not stable, it can fall quickly in a landslide. In a landslide, gravel or other loose material slides down the side of the mountain. Landslides often happen during big rainstorms when a lot of water flows down a mountain and moves a lot of material at once. When the rock that makes up a mountain is cracked, those cracks can make the mountain less stable. This makes landslides more likely. We'll add that right here. All right, that was quick. Let's look at activity two, discussing landforms that erode quickly. There's a series of questions on page seven in your packet. You might wanna pause the video right now and take a moment to answer those questions. We will do this together as well. All right, let's discuss landforms that arose quickly. What can cause landforms to be less stable? Okay, some of you said loose materials or cracks in the rock. What is an example of a landform that can erode quickly because of cracks in the rock? Some of you said a cave or a mountain. What is an example of a landform that can erode quickly because it is made of loose materials? A beach, some of you said a valley. And these are things that you found in the handbook. Let's turn to page 22. This is an example of how an island can change quickly, but it is not an example of erosion, even though the heading says change fast. Let's take a look. Still need to read. Some islands are really the tops of volcanoes. Isn't that a cool idea? Lava comes out of a volcano. The lava cools and hardens into rock that rock becomes a new part of the island. A volcano can add rock to an island very quickly. It can add new land to the island within a day. This picture shows hot lava flowing into the edge of an island. The lava will cool and harden into rock. This adds rock to the island fast. This is a lot of really interesting information and it's really good to know but it doesn't help us with the task at hand, and that is how things erode quickly. In this lesson, we observe a pattern that landforms with cracks or landforms made of loose materials can erode quickly. In the next lesson, we will use models to investigate the idea that loose materials affect how fast a landform erodes. Thank you for spending time with me and I hope to see you soon.